Hello everyone, welcome to Medigac. Today our discussion topic is femur shaft fracture. The femoral shaft is the name given to the long, straight portion of the femur. A femoral shaft fracture occurs when any point along this length of bone breaks. We will discuss this topic into five parts. They are clinical features, types of fracture, mechanism, diagnosis, treatment. Now let's discuss about clinical features. This includes swelling, deformity of thigh, pain during making flexion, extension, pain in the fractured area. Now come to the types of shaft fracture. There are five types of shaft fracture, like simple fracture A, simple fracture B, wedge fracture, butterfly fracture, comminution fracture. Now let's discuss about mechanism of the fracture. This can occur due to fall form height, RTA, industrial accidents, gunshot injuries, birth injuries to children. Now come to the diagnosis part. Diagnosis can be done by plain x-ray to help in diagnosing the severity and type of the fracture. Physical appearance can also help to diagnose the fractured area. CT scan if plain x-ray is not clear. MRI to see any vascular damage. Now let's discuss the treatment part. Firstly, we give the patient a painkiller like diclofenac IM, then we send the patient for x-ray. Then we try to find out the fracture type by looking at the x-ray plate. Based on the severity and types, there are several types of treatments are available. Mainly two types of treatment is done, these are conservative and surgical treatment. Let's discuss the conservative treatment. In children the treatment, we select by looking at the age group. 0 to 2 years, plaster spica. 2 to 10 years, split Russell traction. 10 to 15 years, 90 to 90 degree femoral skeletal traction hip spica, or both. Greater than 15 years, same as adults. In case of adults, the conservative treatment is traction and cast bracing. Now come to the surgical treatment. ORIF, open reduction and internal fixation. Intramedullary nail, IM nail, K nail. Interlocking nail, Grosskampf nail is used in conditions like segmental fractures, comminuted fractures, proximal and distal fractures, and in case of nonunion. Flexible metallary nail like Ender's nail.